Gentlemen, we have a situation in Mogadishu, and we need your help. Kita dah lama hidup dalam perang. Di dalam perang, tak ada siapa yang menang. Semuanya kalah. Itu kawasan bahaya, Tuan. Tempat tu tak ada pelindungan. Tugas kita ini... Go, go, go! ...sentiasa berdepan dengan ajar. Tapi kalau kita lakukan perkara ini sama-sama, insya Allah. Allah bersama dengan kita. Tentera Amerika cuba menyelamatkan anggota mereka sebanyak empat kali namun semuanya gagal. Pakistan dah undur diri sebabkan dia MBG. Kita tak ada pilihan. Arahan tetap arahan. Cuma kita. RPG! Hanya Malaysia yang menawarkan diri untuk misi penyelamatan ini. Operasi ini, operasi bunuh diri, Tuan. Kita tak ada jalan keluar. Kita dah kena kepung. Kocang! Apa kamu meripik ni? Kamu tak percaya pada keupayaan anak-anak buah kamu? Saya percayakan mereka dengan pertahukan nyawa saya sendiri, Tuan. Tuan, tolong cakap dengan mereka, Tuan. Kalau diorang nak pinjam APC kita, diorang kena bawa kita semua. Cerita ni previously pada tahun 2000, ada sebuah filem bertajuk Black Hawk Down telah ditayang. After many years later, baru saya ketahui it was actually Malaysian battalion that went into the city to rescue the Americans. Bakara is actually one history that I think we Malaysians should know and we should be proud of because askar negara kita pergi ke sana untuk menyelamatkan ranger-ranger Amerika Syarikat lah. Bila dapat diketahui oleh umum bahawa tentera kita Malaysia yang banyak berjasa ketika kejadian Black Hawk Down di Bakara Market. The idea of making this movie started lepas saya rap production of Pascal the movie. I went to interview the Awam Mijasis. He told me the reason why they entered the city, then why, despite all the difficulties, they decided to still went into the city to rescue the Americans. I was very proud. It's a very good achievement for Malaysian punya armed forces. Tetapi kenapa kita tidak diberi credit dalam film Black Hawk Down tersebut? That's when the moment immediately I know I have to tell this story. <laughs> Listen to me. There is nothing you can do. Ni pun dah jadi kursi buruk dah ni. Corporal Ramli ni seorang yang masih muda lagi dihantar ke Somalia untuk menjaga keamanan under United Nation. You are in my position. Attract the militants. They already know. Ada leadership dalam diri dia sangat kuat berulau ketika bekerja. Tapi luar daripada kerja, dia ni sangat kan. Fatima, garis palembang. Saya berperan sebagai watak meja anak, komander tim Alpha, Company B. Dan salah seorang yang terlibat dalam misi ini. Hari ini saya memegang watak salah seorang pejuang negara kena Cairo dalam film bakaran. Latin Musafa merupakan salah satu platoon leader. Dia nampak seorang yang sangat cool, sangat tidak bergaul dengan orang lain. Tapi dia tegas dan dia memang seorang askar yang memang taat setia kepada pasukan dan juga kepada negara dia. Lieutenant Dari ini adalah seorang tentera yang agak cool lah. Kalau dia ada mission, dia akan sangat fokus lah.
I worked with Sky Films before for Pascal the movie, but it was different because Pascal the movie we shot in Turkey only for six days. For Malbat, Misi Bakara, we had a tough ride. Sebab tempat-tempat yang kami pergi itu masa tu Turkey tengah berperang dengan Syria. Kami dilarang untuk menjalankan pengamaran. At first, I thought mungkin kami terlalu noisy sebab ada banyak letupan. But then eventually it turns out that no, bukan, bukan macam tu. Sebab ada orang-orang Turki lah yang penduduk kat sana. Dia orang nampak dia orang punya assets. The tank, the APC, the guns, the firing, the bomb, the explosion. They thought the war is actually ongoing. Dia orang blame dia orang punya government. So, the Turkish government stopped us from shooting for one day. The production house from Turkey Sky Films, they helped us to have a meal with the mayor of Gaziantep. They explained that, oh no, it's all about movie. We have all these props. It's not real. It's not functional. They are talking to no The mayor of Turkey, she said, we need to do clarification on our own. So, dear Poon arranged reporters coming to our set to interview us. Basically, me and my main actors and some of the crews. That's how we managed to calm things down and then to continue the shoot. And of course, Skyblum helped a lot in managing this kind of crisis. My name is Paul Bidis. I'm the military technical advisor for Backcroft. So my job starts very early during the pre-production. I help with terminology or tactics within the script to help get the film or the production as realistic as possible before we start filming. Paul Bidis, he worked on a lot of Hollywood titles like Kingsman, Transformers, 1917, a lot of big titles, right? So when we wanted to do this project, we needed a very good military advisor on this. So I asked Jesse to send him an email, they reply. And then to our surprise, he take it, they're on. Adrian is a very good director, He's very easy and uh, chilled out to work with. And actually, I've, really, I've enjoyed this film more than what I enjoy some of the very big budget movies that I've worked on in the past. I'm Jiayon, I'm the director of Makara. And Adrian has actually said a lot of good things. This film is very difficult and very difficult. Because this film is different from what we've been working with. So this time, I've been trying to do a lot of work. When I came out, I realized that we've been working with a lot of people who have been working with a lot of people. Come on! Come on! Come on! The process with Adrian is just straightforward. He's a very speed and fast guy. He knows what he wants. He's very happy to work. His vision is very big. Adrian is a very responsible director. He knows the story. He knows what he wants to make his own. Kerja dengan Adrian T, jujur cakaplah makin lama makin dia mencabar saya. Sebab memang dia push saya sampai limit. Aku shoot scene tu dekat Turki. 5 jam menangis tak berhenti. Dan benda tu adalah satu yang sangat sukar nak digambarkan tau. Lagi-lagi kita orang shoot bukannya macam kejadian tu berlaku depan mata tak. Kita orang kena bayangkan apa yang berlaku di dalam scene tu dan kemudian kita kena deliver. Jadi cabaran itu yang Adrian bagi saya dan ianya menarik untuk saya lah seorang pelakon apabila dicabar oleh pengarah. Sebab kita nak explore apa yang kita boleh buat dan Alhamdulillah Tau Yen, dia percayakan saya Adrian seorang pengarah yang sangat-sangat fokus When you see him on set, he's totally different, he's in the zone Tapi, I don't see him get overwhelmed You can imagine on set, there's going to be a thousand different problems that he has to solve as a director But I see Adrian, he keeps his cool, he doesn't let it get to his emotions so working with Adrian has been amazing, yeah. Three, two, action! Percaya pada anggota kita dan percaya yang kita akan selesaikan di sini. Itu yang kita semua patut buat! Budget of this movie is 20 million ringgit with the support from the Tentera Direct Malaysia, we were able to accomplish the mission. So far, it's a massive project by Act 2 Pictures. I need to keep a close eyes and fully utilize the budget effectively. I understand that the media call it the most expensive movie ever made. It's not a proud thing to me because when you have that kind of uh, expectation from media and you don't deliver or the movie doesn't deliver, it's a pressure. But I would say 20 million is a lot of money. I hope I deliver a good job. First three days, saya tak boleh tidur. Because literally every day, we can only shoot 50% of what we plan. Mungkin saya dapat habiskan shooting di Turkey, kalau macam ni. That's why we decided to split him. On top of that, language I think is the most painful punya barrier. Sebab kat sana bukan semua orang boleh cakap English. Every time, bila nak pass on the message, it will take a long time because of the language. I got injured 
start daripada tu je dah macam agak berat sikit sebab I'm not just acting out a scenario I have to be in that scenario dalam keadaan injet so banyak benda nak kena ingat I kena make sure benda tu macam konsisten benda tu ada sangat agak berat sikit adalah salah satu scene saya buat badan untuk bakara ni tak dapatkan badan tu 2 bulan lebih kontrol makan dan saya diet yang betul-betul heavy punya diet untuk buat scene tu sahaja so siapa yang tahu Tahu lah macam mana saya diet That's why lah macam dapat makan tu macam oh, Makan lah tak ingat dunia kan Itulah scene yang paling best lah Saya injet dekat Turki dalam scene masa tu dengan shoot Itu saya rasa uh, my mistake Masa tu scene tengah bergelut Saya nak bangun dalam kedudukan melutut Tiba-tiba dah macam kelang kabut dan semua Lutut saya boom Kena tanah Saya lepas saya punya weapon Saya dah macam saya dah pegang ah. Saya tak nak gerak kaki Tapi saya dah masuk jiwa askar Dah semangat kental Walaupun sakit Saya habiskan pengambaran malam tu Sampai ke pagi Saya rasa bangga lah dengan diri saya Ini yang mencabar Tapi saya buat sampai habis Terima kasih kerana menonton video ini Saya tak rasa kita banyak bercerita, spend a lot of time talking about this character sebab kita tahu dia punya role dia macam mana. My part and my scene ataupun my functions quite straightforward. So tak ada in terms of creative process tu tak menuntut banyak sangat. Kita kena tengok dari segi the certain certain terminologi dan juga protokol lah, you know. Certain certain SOP yang kita kena faham dan itu itu kita always ada kita punya rasa and experience support kita. Pastikan dia selamat dekat ABC. Kalau people ask me about Duffy, why you casted Duffy? Is it because he's the son of Prime Minister? No, no, no. Not because of he's the son of Prime Minister, then I casted him. Because he must have very strong chemistry with Sam. And then Sam is a very strong character. I need them to play like buddy cops. So Duffy has that fun side of him that can blend with Sam that I think is a perfect combination. Hairu, yeah, Hairu lagi kan? I know. But I think Hairu played very well this time. He has a very convincing look and he, you know, his physical look is never in doubt. And also, kali ini dia lain sikit. Compared to cara dia bawa watak Arman dalam Pascal, he very dedicated actor lah. He knows macam mana dia nak craft dia punya perbezaan untuk setiap watak yang dia mainkan. Tragedy Sam, oh, oh my god, Sam is really good. There are two shots I remember when Sam shot it at Turkey. Saya nampak playback saja, saya pun ada goosebump. So I was like really impressed lah. And then Sam punya seat, the hit rate pun 100%. Dini, I wanted a good looking actor for that role. I needed someone yang nampak macam asalnya sikit tapi Melayu but then it's just me trying to give another layer to among the Maobat of course I can just cast anybody but then to me if I can have a different flavour per se in terms of actor yang letak dalam cerita ni I think it's a plus point which is why when I needed someone who you know, nampak macho, good looking and nampak dah berapa macam Melayu immediately I thought of Dini Dulu 2-1 Yang lain saya akan hantar ke army sekarang tuan Ganti Adilina Man Ramli dan Abang Fauzi Nawawi They are otai To tell the truth, one of the my favourite scene Dia orang gaduh dalam cerita ni And on set, masa kami shoot kat Johor I already got goosebump Looking at the playback They are very good and then they you know try to outplay each other punya energy Every single line, you know, and then push their energy up, 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 up to a point where you know That's it, this is it Bagus lah, sangat bagus Bakara is a considered a first Malaysia war movie, so definitely it's a fresh and challenging project for me and the crews. The difficult of this project, well, definitely is working remotely between Malaysia and Turkey. So we had to work very closely to overseas crews, and cutting the APC is one of the tasks on this project. We were facing logistic and transportation issue from the beginning. Maobat base, another big challenge for this. Original Maobat base, we're gonna set an open space in KL. Due to the bad weather, we have to shift the whole set to Iskandar Studio in JB. 
We having total of 80 crews to working in the studio with countless of sand trucks, construction vehicle to lay the sand to create. The base camp is like on the middle desert. We spent almost a week plus to set up this whole scene. Master kita shoot di IMS where the stadium scene is basically literally a 360 full blue punya surrounding. We draw a floor plan of the stadium, then I'm gonna decide where the people will be, where the APC will be, where the medic tent, where the chopper will be, and then based on that, based on the script, we refine, keep on refining the location of each position, uh, each asset or each group punya position. After that, we have storyboards. Cerita ni 90% of the script we drew it up. So we had like 400 over pages for your storyboard. So when we shoot that scene, every angle that we put, my CG supervisor, Peter and me, they are always there with me on set. So every time we put the camera down facing that, they already know what should be behind it because the shots all have been arranged. So they don't have to crack upper and spatula near brother, the background of the shot. So they know everything already because every single shot, we have storyboard and to indicate clearly. The calm thing is not something too difficult, it's just a lot of work. My work is basically from not so much VFX shot because every shot is a VFX shot. We want to actually build any 3D elements. We have to have a rough guide on the measurements, like in terms of exact measurements, in terms of height or width or so on. Because otherwise, it's pretty hard. We like for us to do tracking as well. We don't have things to track because everything is so dark, right? So you need something to that you can track on. To be honest, kali ini CG filem apa ni dia tak sesusah filem-filem yang saya pernah buat sebelum ini. Contoh The Assistant, Wira ke ataupun yang lain-lain. Tetapi cabaran paling besar untuk CG kali ini adalah the amount of it. Dalam filem Mabat Misi Bakar, in totality kita orang ada lebih kurang 900 CG shot. Which is why kali ini we kind of like split the CG into few companies to do it. And the CG work kali ini ambil lebih kurang setahun for this movie.在摄影方面是早上我那时是想是不是要回到那个年代的那种画面啊包括拍摄的技巧啊在这部戏呢取用了叫一个什么 my AD strongly advised me against using it. Sebab, ia akan banyak makan masa. They said, director, you sure you want? Just find some other way to shoot. You can find some other angle. You can shoot slow more, but don't use Phantom. Because Phantom is first cost. Second, you need to break the wall. And then you need to set the track. It's a big setup. But I said no. I want the shot. And we managed to crack it. It was a very troublesome punya setup. We managed to get it after like four or five takes. Good morning, bro. This is only day two for me. I've only been here two days ago. Action! Go! 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 So, the training memang crazy lah kan. Kita orang pergi bangun-bangun pagi, buat PT. And then, kita orang pegang macam mana pegang senjata. Macam mana hold senjata. And then, kita orang pula dapat padu yang sebenar punya APC. The real APC. I am as a driver. So I need to know lah macam mana nak bawa yang the real punya APC So dekat situ je I boleh try yang betul-betul punya APC I mean tracing tu macam mana kita belajar untuk kendalikan senjata Bagi saya macam experience untuk saya dapat pegas senjata kan Bagian regana senjata yang seberat dalam 10 kilo tu tak termasuk peluru lagi So macam mana nak cara menembak, cara pegang betul, cara nak buka yang betul So training dengan orang, I belajar banyak benda Kita ada shoot, communication Itu pun antara benda yang saya suka Using the real set tu kan So I rasa training DPD I learn so many things about military Saya nak cakap terima kasih banyak-banyak Kepada Tentera Darat Malaysia 
kerana full support daripada bawah sampai atas of course daripada segi aset dan kita dapat lihat aset-aset yang best sokongan yang diberikan kepada kami kepada produksi kepada para pelakon kepada setiap setiap kerja yang kita buat untuk maubat misi bakara ni sangat tiktok kalau lah tak ada bantuan daripada TDM memang cerita ni takkan jadi Okay, one word to describe Bakarah. Gempa. Berani. Impactful. Kebabu. Sebab kalau ni memang akan kasih korang satu semangat yang kebabu lah. Bila tengok ni, dia akan meletup di bawah gam film ni. Film ni akan memberi semangat yang besar hati kepada semua yang menonton, kepada tentera yang telah berkorban untuk negara pun. Pihak produksi ni berani menyahut cabaran untuk menceritakan sudut pandangan tentera sebelah Malaysia pula apa yang berlaku masa peristiwa mengenai isu tu dan saya harap satu dunia selepas ni sekurang-kurangnya satu Malaysia akan dapat tahu apa yang sebenar-benarnya berlaku pada masa tu yang melibatkan anggota-anggota tentera Malaysia. Filem Malbat ni next level filem Malaysia. Hebat sangat filem Bakaran ni sebab hebatnya tentera Malaysia. Saya rasa dalam Malaysia ada banyak cerita yang kita tidak tahu. Cerita-cerita macam ni kita ada banyak hero, kita ada banyak perwira. So I think Malaysians should know about them. And melalui filem is the best and the fastest way to introduce them to kalangan rakyat bahawa kita ada hero di kalangan kita. This is also one of the reason why I'm very motivated dalam kemampuan saya. Sebolehnya saya nak menceritakan kisah mereka kepada rakyat Malaysia. And by doing this also as a Malaysian, I feel proud. Sebab I'm doing something for my country, I'm doing something for my nation. And it's based on true story. So to me, I feel very proud lah and honoured to be given the chance to do what Jayden. Slate, 1,000. Saya harap penonton akan buka minda dan tergerak untuk tengok filem ni sebab antara filem yang patriotik yang dikeluarkan dan dia adalah satu perkara ataupun event peristiwa yang kita kena kenang dan kita nampak macam mana dia orang berjuang yang selama ni kita tak nampak dengan mata kita sendiri dalam filem ni kita tunjukkan so Malaysia please watch this movie filem Malbat misi bakara ni Memang satu filem yang another level. Kerana kualiti dan value yang ada pada filem ini dan harapan saya filem ini akan dilihat di satu dunia. Sebab ini adalah cerita kita. Misi Bakara. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a production rap for Idil. It's a rap for Tiban and Bob. It's a rap for Hyro. Okay guys. It's a production rate for Duffy. It's a production rate for Ikram. It's the production rate of Nick Zainal the Turkey! Yes, thank, you. Yeah. thank you! Guys, thank you. Guys, get up back up. Thank you so much. Um, it's a round for Hamid! It's a round for Hamid. No, I will miss you. I'll see you when I get out to Malaysia, when the film comes out. It's a production rep for Musa! Woo! It's a production rep for Shafwan! Yeah! Ramli rap with us! Yeah! Ramli! After three months of oh. hard work and shooting, I thank you everybody. Malbat Misi Bakara is a rap. Tentera Amerika cuba menyelamatkan anggota mereka sebanyak empat kali namun semuanya gagal. Hanya Malaysia yang menawarkan diri untuk misi penyelamat ini.
buat apa kat sini? Kita nampak macam sokong dengan mereka. Tapi orang tu Malaysia pun tak kenal. We are from Malaysia. Malaysia? Sampai aku nak kena explain. Kau tahu tak? Thailand, Singapura, ah, kita kat tengah-tengah ni Malaysia. Lepas tu pula orang Somalia pandang kita ni macam pengkhianat agama. Kau akan abadkan saya. Saya nak Buat baik ni, Mak El. Tak kira agama pun sebenarnya. Let's go, Mom! We are risking the lives of our men to save your countrymen. Now either you do the same for us, or we will pull out. Mara ke depan dan gerak sekarang. Loaded. Hey buddy, where you from? This is what? And hey, 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 what? This is it. Malaysia. Jadi, sekarang macam mana? Dunia ada kenal kita. Apa lagi?